Good evening, and welcome to the Simeon Says screencast uh, introducing the EV Easy MVC framework. Tonight, we're just going to do a quick uh, run through and show you how to dispatch events and have those uh, have your controllers respond to those events appropriately. So we'll start by grabbing the source code from the project site. You can get that from projects.simb.net slash EasyMVC. I already have this downloaded here on my desktop. I'm going to open up that zip file and you'll see that there's a com directory inside there. I'm just going to drop that com directory into the root of an existing Flex Builder project. Running back into Flex Builder, we'll see that it now displays that I have a com directory. Inside there, you'll see there's a package notation for Simbi Dev Easy MVC. Simbi Dev, that's me. And inside Easy MVC is a bunch of other packages that talk about you know all the functionality inside the framework. We're not going to worry about that right now, though. What we really want to do is create ourselves a controller. Because in order to implement MVC, the first step is to actually have a controller that can be the traffic cop for our application. So what we're going to do is create a new action script class. And we're just going to go ahead and call that main controller. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up a package with that. Um, just setting up the, the app.control path. And we're going to ask to have this extend the controller factory class that's part of the easy MVC framework. Now the whole point of a controller is to have methods that actually have the logic for our application. So in this simple example we're just going to pop up an alert. So I'm going to create a new private function called doAlert. And that's going to receive a parameter called event of type control event. Now control event is just a built-in uh, a class in the framework and we don't have to create anything or do anything to use it so uh, inside here we're just going to use the alert class and we're going to pop up some uh, use the show method of the alert class to pop up some text it just says hello world now in order for our controller to respond to this in the constructor we want to use the add event handler uh, method of the controller factory parent class and in here we're going to specify what event we're going to listen for we're going to listen for an alert event and when we receive an alert event we want to respond to it by calling do alert and that's all there is to it the controller codes done the only other step to actually have our controller be used inside of our application is to create an instance of it. You only have to create the instance once inside your application, and I typically do that here in the main file. So uh, in order to instantiate that, we need to create an XML namespace. I'm going to call it C, and we're going to set that equal to app.control.star. With that done, we can create an instance of our controller. Now the trick is, the next step, not trick I should say, is to actually dispatch an event. We do that using the standard dispatch event method. Uh, in order for that, and we will be dispatching an event of type control event from the framework. In order for that to work, it's going to have to be able to have an import, and so we have to have a script block. So we're going to go ahead and add a button that can we can respond to and dispatch this event. So we're going to add a new button. We're going to specify the label of the button as click me. And uh, we are going to then have the click event dispatch event. And we're going to say it's a new control event. And we specify the type of the control event as alert that's what our controller is looking for. Uh, can't have ticks inside ticks. And that still didn't do my import. So let's do this again. Control event. All right, still no import. Even better syntax error in the application makes it so nothing works all right there we go now we have our import and with that our errors are gone and our application is complete we can run this now and when we hit click me hello world is displayed that's all there is to it 
So our view is able to communicate with the controller by dispatching a normal event. Now let's go one step further because in a real world application when you dispatch events you want to pass information along with those. In this particular case we would want to pass along perhaps the string to actually display inside the pop-up. So what we're going to do is we're actually instead of dispatching the event directly we're going to use a local function called alert me. Let's define that up inside our script block. Function alert me. Data type is void and in here we want to create a var event of type control event. Fingers get away from me. And we set that equal to a new control event specifying that the type is alert. We want to set the data property of the event equal to some message we'd like to display. And then we can dispatch our event. From here, we just want to update our control, our, our main controller, to instead of just automatically passing out hello world, we want to use the data property of our event. The data is data typed as an object, just like uh, just, just like using carrying more events. And from here, we can run our application again. And this time, when we click the button, our actual message is displayed. So this has been a real simple example of setting up and using the EV easy MVC framework uh, to separate the control model and display logic of your application. Thanks for tuning in.